Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, firstly, I just want to say thank you for watching and if you subscribe, thank you for subscribing. Um, as you know, I obviously have never done this before. This is really new to me. Um, so I feel like the best way to start this is being really real with you guys because you get this filtered, edited, posed version of me on Instagram, which is like partying and holidays and blah, blah, blah. And definitely it is a part of who I am. It's maybe like five, 10% of who I am, but it's not actually who I am. I'm the type of girl who will kick around in her trackies and hoodie all day with furry slippers on, and no makeup. And so that's how I kind of want you guys to get to know me. You have the edited airbrushed whatever version on Instagram. I'd like you to get to know the real raw me. So I'm gonna start off by taking all of this off so I can just be real with you guys. I'm gonna try and put this on. I don't know how really well I'm gonna go, but I like it. It's a good idea. This whole concept of, you know, not getting your hair dirty while you take your makeup off. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh no, it's cute. I actually kinda like it. But it's out in public. Anyway, so I'm taking my makeup off with Milky Marcella water. Micellar? Mar cleansing micellar cleansing movie water? Anyway, besides so the point. I use this to take my makeup off because it's hydrating and it's for dry and sensitive skin and at the moment I am having problems with my skin which is also why I'm to take my makeup off for you guys because I want you to see what it really looks like in person or through a camera, you know, whatever. So. Anyway guys, this is the real me. Spots, freckles, moles, imperfections, pimples and all. I feel super vulnerable right now, especially because I haven't actually had no fake eyelashes in almost a year. Um, but I also feel like it's a really good way to start this channel because sometimes I will wear makeup, sometimes I won't wear makeup, but I feel like I want you guys to know this face as well as the one you see on Instagram. So from here, I'm just going to start answering some questions um, that you guys have asked me and that I want you guys want to know the answers to and things that I just want to share with you. So I come from a single parent family. My mum, she is an amazing person. She is the strongest person I know and I'm very, very lucky to have her. Um, I also have two sisters two older sisters, I am the baby. Uh, one is a, pair, a mother of two, she has a fantastic husband, and my other sister, she lives over east with her partner and just both, all, all of them, fantastic people. I am very lucky to have three best friends automatically through life. Um, I have a lot of great friends in my life and I'm so, so blessed to have all of my friends that I do, but my, I don't even have one best friend. I have two best friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the last names, but Georgia and Chloe, they're probably my longest friends. And yeah, they're people like that know me through and through. They knew me through my ugly, ugly, ugly duckling stage in high school and things like that. So, you know, you girls watching this, you know, I love you. Um, my favorite internal attribute would probably have to be, I don't know, my patience, I guess. I'm a really patient person. Um, also my creativity, which also makes me awesome with children because I am a giant child and I'm also really patient with them and I'm also really creative. So that was cool. That's also why I used to work with children. Um, my favorite physical attribute, which is probably not something you guys are going to think that I'm going to say because you know, everyone, if you look at my Instagram, there's pretty much one thing I post. Anyway, my favorite physical attribute is my eyes. And that is because someone I love dearly told me that if you fall in love with someone's eyes, they are the things that never change. Bodies, faces, skin, hair, tattoos, everything they change, but your eyes never change. 
so that's nice. And that's something that, one of the reasons why I love my eyes, but also because they're pretty cool. So this cannot be categorized into one food, like it has to be groups and sweet and savory. So breakfast, sweet breakfast would have to be <laughs> toast, plain toast with jam and then spray cream. I know I'm really weird, but I don't care. And my favorite savory breakfast would have to be, if I'm doing them at home, probably, you know, actually no, scratch that. Scratch all that. I'm gonna do at home and out. Favorite kind of food. This cannot be just categorized into one food. It has to be categorized into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and at home and out. So favorite breakfast at home, probably would just have to say like baked beans on toast with lots of butter on just like plain white toast, so it'll be good. Um, and if I'm out, definitely an Eggs Benedict with like runny eggs and bacon, oh, so good. Uh, lunch, if I'm at home, can't go past a packet pasta. They say they serve six, they don't serve six. I can definitely eat a whole one of them by myself. It definitely just goes to my bum, but it's besides the point. Um, if I'm out, can't go past fish and chips. So love me some chippies, love me some fish. Only grilled though, don't like beer battered, too much going on. Which is surprising considering I'm carb girl, but that's besides the point. Dinner, okay, at home, I love like mashed potato and maybe greens if I can be bothered. Probably, yeah, definitely say greens, children eat, eat your vegetables, but chops, like lamb chops from like my stepdad who lives, who like is a shearer, so he always gets fresh like mutton and lamb and things like that. And literally, rosemary, Gar garlic salt, onion salt, salt and pepper, and cooked in butter. <sighs> just, just, oh my God, amazing. So, and my favorite dinner out would have to be surf and turf, like creamy garlic prawns, rump steak, mashed potato, cider chips. Your girl loves carbs. It's hard because I really like all kinds of music. I'm not really a fussy person, um, but probably the music that resonates with me the most is, Old school music. Like I love Fleetwood Mac, I love Pearl Jam, Chili Peppers. Uh, I do, without sounding like a cliche, I really do like Billie Eilish. I think she's got some, um, like an amazing voice and a really, really cool outlook on life and really nice way of approaching her ge generation of people and demographic that she is actually targeting in her music. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's a whole other kettle of fish. The girl doesn't care about brands. I don't really care. Never had much money for them, never had much time for them. Honestly, in the future, if I do have enough money, I would love to treat myself to something like that, but I'm not that fussy. This top, op shop. Um, most of my things I do get from op shops. Uh, I can't go past Kmart bargain. Like, you know, if you have the money, that's great. All power to you, but I've never had the money for to do it. So it's never been a thing in my life that I've yearned for or strived for. I'd rather have assets like a car or a house or food. Anyway, so when I was younger, my dream job was to be a teacher. I really wanted to be a teacher. I worked with children for a little while and I found that was awesome. It was a great outlet for my creativity and energy and things like that. But I found, you know, I needed some space and room to grow and move and really like produce who I am as a person. So I think my dream job now in a weird, perfect world would have to be like a scuba driver, diver, instructor, scuba diver instructor in the Maldives. But I'm not gonna lie, I have my dream job. Like I model, I travel, I meet great people, I have fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> so I was thinking about this really hard and it was used to be like a BMW four wheel drive because I thought like that was cool. Not like cool as in like, that's what people think is cool, but as in like, I feel it's convenient if I had kids, if I had kids, then they could fit them in there, but it's also a really nice luxury car. I love bird siding and I feel like I could fit a lot in the boot of a BMW four wheel drive. If you know what bird siding is, awesome. If you don't, don't Google it because I like bargains and if you find them, then I'm gonna be upset because they're mine. Anyway, I don't know if you know this already, but I'm a Leo. If you believe in astrology and star signs and you know, personality traits, according to people, I have a white line on my lip. Let me just, let me just, this is gonna upset me so much. I just realized this. Okay. 
cut that part out. If you believe in astrology and star signs and characteristics and personality traits according to the stars and what they say about you, then you'll know that I'm a Leo. I am a Leo through and through. You can't really not pick it, <laughs> but also not unhappy about that. No, I cannot sing. It doesn't mean I won't try and it doesn't mean I won't sing like I'm Beyonce when I'm drunk or in the car or in the shower. My housemate can definitely vouch for this. I cannot sing, but I do. Sorry. They, I don't really have a, like a pet peeve and if I do, sorry to sound generic and boring and basic and like everyone else, but I don't like slow walkers. Like, what are you doing? Move. And if you don't, we should make lanes. Honestly, everywhere there should be a left lane for slowies, right lane for fasties, and then like an extreme right lane for the people who walk like a million miles an hour, like I talk. It's just fair. Avoiding accidents and anger. That would just be great. I should put a suggestion box into the government. Okay. My first car was so humbling. I have been working since I was 12 and I, everything I have, I own. Like it's mine. I pay for it. It's my stuff. Like ratty ratty ra. So my first car I bought for eleven hundred dollars. I think it was. It was an AE ninety two model nineteen ninety Corolla Seca. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It was like this rusty red piece of crap, and I loved it so much. In fact, I actually, <laughs> I actually locked my key <laughs> car keys in it so many times that I had to break into it so many times that when it got to winter, it started filling up with water because the seals were broken. And I got in one morning when I was late for work, like in a rush and just went splash. And my feet were like submerged in water, like a good 15, 20 centimeters. I was like, mom, help. So I ended up bucketing it besides the point. My car, I loved it so much though. She was great. She was awesome. And I sold her and that's someone else's problem. No, I do not. I do live in a house with a dog though. His name is Rex. He's got a massive personality. He may as well be a person. Um, he's a cute little puppy though. He's not a little, and he's not a puppy. I don't know why I said that, but he is really cute. I'm sure he'll make it a feature some point throughout these videos, but he's not here right now. So to be continued. I can't really say that I've had a really bad date because I don't really go on dates. Anyway. <laughs> so no, I don't really have that was a bad day. The only thing that's ever happened to me, I've had quite a few run-ins because I am the most accident prone person in the world. But um, as you can see, my teeth are crooked. But you know, I'm an individual. Uh, the, anyway, <laughs> I was going. There. The reason why my teeth are crooked is because I eat too much sugar, one. And two, I came off my bicycle riding down a hill and knocked two and a half, three of my teeth out basically. This one, this one, and half of this one, and gave myself nerve damage. That was probably the scariest thing that's ever happened to me that I want to share. Three things that make me happy beyond belief. My family. They have, we have obviously everyone has a connection with their family, but if there's anything that I can share or get through to you with this video about me is appreciate them so much because I like miss the days so much when we all, when my sisters and my mom and I all lived together and like all of that, it was so nice. But obviously I love the time we're in now because I have nieces and we're all living our own lives and creating our own pasts and futures and things like that. So I'm, but I just, love them and I, I love the fact that I have such a strong connection with them. I know that any time of the day, any night, any time of the night or day, I just know that I can call them if I'm happy, sad, or I just want to tell them something, they will answer and yeah, I'm one of the luckiest people in the world because I just love my family. Um, I, <laughs> another thing that makes me happy is where I am at in my life right now. I am doing things for me not necessarily things that everyone approves of or you know would do for themselves but that's okay because it's for me and i am in such a good place doing these things i feel happy and strong <laughs> and powerful and it's great i feel awesome about what i'm doing 
and so that's two things that make me happy myself <laughs> and my family and I am sort of in love I'm not gonna share names but yeah I am and that person makes me extremely happy they're kind and caring and patient and so hot and <laughs> And not that that's important, but it helps. <laughs> but I just know I am so lucky to have this person in my life because they could have anyone they wanted and they chose me. And that's something special. Um, I am actually quite tall from a girl, for a girl. I have really long limbs. I don't know if you can tell, but this is, is that is, hello. I have really long limbs. I am super lanky. Uh, I'm about 5'7", which is about 165 to 68 centimeters, which is, you know what, I used to hate my height, but I love it now. Like, I'm like, legs and arms, girl. Plus, you know what, I'm just accepting who I am. I can't make myself any shorter. Can't make myself any taller, you know? This is just who I am, and I love me. Without sounding completely and utterly arrogant, I feel like, you know, it's good to love yourself. If you can't, then who's going to, so. I don't think I've been to enough cities in the world to say I have a favorite city, but maybe, Um, Portugal. That's not in, not in Australia. My favorite city is probably Portugal. Um, I had an amazing time there. The people were so welcoming. I met some amazing humans there. Uh, it was awesome to party and just cool. Like the architecture, amazing. Like the castles, they're like vibrant. They're like pink and blue and orange and purple and yellow. And I was like, wow. Anyway, so that was pretty cool. But I'll let you know because um, more travel is coming up in my life and maybe my favorite city will change that I've had so far. Oh, see, I've been on a lot of holidays, but probably one of my Club Winkle trips with my boy, <laughs> Perry Winkle, my boy as in my friend. Um, yeah, I had the best time, met some great people. Bali is always awesome. The people, the Balinese people are amazing humans. The food, oh, just everything amazing, just great. That was probably my favorite holiday so far. But in general, I love tropical holidays, summer holidays, but yeah, again, I'm going on a trip soon, so stay tuned and that might change. Um, I am in love with my hair being brown or whatever color you want to say this is. It's like kind of red, but this is my natural color up here. This is all kind of still get, getting the blonde out, but it's to me, it's just more me, obviously, because it's my natural color, but this is why I'm going, girls and boys and cats and dogs and whatever you, who's watching. Um, I want to keep me as much me as possible, which is hard in this day and age because there's, you're like filtered with so many different things and hair colors and that's great. And you can have pink hair, purple hair, like some of my favorite people in the world have pink hair, but, um, like, you know, it just wasn't, it's just my choice. I like the brown hair. Hands down has to be the office. US version. Steve Carell is a com comedic genius. Like, I can't get enough of him. Guys, if you actually have any office quotes or any office jokes, please leave them in the comments because I just can't get enough of it. Like I post memes constantly and usually offer like two or three, maybe one to two office memes a day in there just because like, like why wouldn't you? It's hilarious. Favorite movie, oh, this is hard again because I am such a movie fanatic. I like staying at home, sitting on the couch. Um, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie and you might not be really interested because it's pretty gory, but Apocalypto, it's about like the Mayans and um, kind of their internal battle battles between their tribes uh, and when the tribes of like the Mayans started discovering other kind of life form, not forms, but other like ways of life where people like building things and not living in just huts and stuff that it was, it's an amazing movie. Really not educational. I'm sure this didn't actually happen. It's, it's a dramatization of what would have happened. But to me, it's a little snapshot of an insight into what they kind of lived like. And to me, it was one of my favorite movies since I've been about 14. Really cool. Don't watch it if you're 14 though, because it's really gory and it will traumatize you for life. But you know, if your parents are there and they say, woo, it's like a documentary kind of, it's like educational. Um, my favorite color, which might actually be shocking to you guys, is orange. It's not pink, not blue, not purple. I love the color orange and like not bright fluorescent 
there's a construction cone orange. It's more of like a sunset orange. That really, really nice tinge between like a pink and the blue and yeah, it's my favorite place to be is at the beach. It's where I feel most centered and calm and collected. Uh, it also makes me feel like I'm closer to my family because we're all from the coast. So yeah, the beach is great. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any like, oh no I do. My favorite hobby or the, my hobby is to sketch. I love sketching, I love drawing, I love writing in weird fonts. Um, it's a really good outlet for me if I'm going through something, if I'm just bored, anything. I really just like express myself through sketching. So some of them really dark, some of them really cool, some of them really weird and funny, some of them sexual, like it's just, you know, whatever's going on in my life, I just like vent it through sketching. Sometimes I sketch tattoos. Sometimes I sketch some of my tattoos. Without being completely biased, my friend Russell did my sleeve recently, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. I'm in love with her, it's Medusa, which lots of people do have nowadays, but she has, she has a special meaning to me, which, you know, each their own. Um, but mine was definitely chosen and designed for a special reason. So she's my favorite tattoo. <sighs> Anyway guys, thank you for asking the questions and thank you for letting me answer them. If you watched this, that's great. If you didn't, then that's cool. I don't mind. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, anything, please leave them in the comments below, which I'm pretty sure I'm pointing the right way. I don't know, this way? I don't know, this way? Um, and I will read them, reply to them. It'll be awesome. We can communicate. Um, if you have any suggestions for my next video, please feel free. Uh, also, if not, don't stress. I've got a lot of things coming up. I've got a lot of ideas. Um, so yeah, thank you. It's been great. And I have enjoyed making this video for you. So I hope you have enjoyed watching it. <laughs>